Hello guys and welcome to Medi's Tech Circle. In today's video I want to show you how you can customize the animation speed on your Android device. So um, a first notice from me, I'm doing this on my Galaxy S7 Edge, but of course this will work on any other Android device. What you will need I will tell you later, but first off um, I want to give a shout out to a friend from me, to Rene. He showed me this tip, this useful, useful tip. Without him, I wouldn't do this video today. And also, if you are new to this channel, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. That would really be appreciated from my side. So uh, first off, um, you will have to activate the developer options in on your Android device. So for this, you go under software info. Um, so you will have to see where it's located. Often it's located under the about phone section in the settings. And then you will have to tap multiple times on build number until developer mode is activated. So then you go back and you should see on your Android device the option for developer options. So let's open this up. So first of all, you will have to enable the um, developer options in order to use um, this watch I want to show you. So maybe you have already played around with the developer options and you have noticed there are options for the window animation scale, the transition animation scale and the animator, uh, animator duration scale. And um, you can see that there are just um, limited options to choose from. So the 10 time, 5 time, 2 time, 1.5 the normal, the standard, the one time and the 0 0.5 time animation scale. And you can also turn off completely every kind of anima animation here. So um, in this video, I want to show you how you can select a specific um, scale for your animation. And it's really easy. So first off, you will have to, um, to go into the developer options to turn them on, to turn them on. And then you will have to enable with USB debugging because we are now heading to our laptop um, to do this over ADB. So I will explain later on what ADB is. So guys, I'm back here and now we have to do this job on the laptop. So I will link down below um, a link for downloading this minimal ADB fast boot program. So what this gives you is um, the option to do ADB commands without having the um, big 2.3 gigabyte Android Studio SDK on your laptop installed. So what is Android the um, ADB that, that uh, stands for Android Debug Bridge it is a program or you can give commands to your Android device to tweak um, some developer options, but also some um, do some tasks on your uh, Android device. So we are now using ADB to, for example, give um, a specific amount of animation scale to our device because we have in the um, developer options like I showed you before just limited options but now we can customize it with our own transition speed. So um, you will have to download this uh, minimal ADB fast boot program. You just install it, it's really easy and uh, once it's installed you will launch the program. Okay, so before we are um, we are starting to give or type in the commands which we will need to um, put our default, uh, not sorry, not the default to customize the animation speed, we have again to check because that's important because then Android ADB will not work. You will have to check that really your developer options are activated and that USB debugging is on. So um, in the window here on um, the PC and the Android uh, Fastboot um, program, you will see that it um, is opened up because there it says minimal ADB and Fastboot. And now just connect your USB um, to your device with USB to your laptop. So you connect 
it normally and then you will have a message um, if um, this computer is allowed to debug your um, your Galaxy device. So um, I already skipped this message because I um, added this PC to the authorized um, PCs. But when you launch the first time ADB and connect it via um, USB um, to ADB, so the first time you will have this debug, debug information which where you have to select allow. So that's it. Now um, your device is connected and let's go back to our PC. Okay, so now I want to show you which commands you have to type in in this window, in this command prompt with um, minimal ADV and fastboot running to um, select your customized animation scale. So the first thing you want also to remember is that you will have to um, turn have turned on the debug mode in the developer options as I said showed you before and it can happen that you will have to um, allow your device to um, to confirm that you will or that you trust this PC to use ADB and um, debug mode okay so the first thing you want to type in is ADB devices and then it will show you a um, list of devices attached so it will start a daemon and then you will see here a number which shows you that your device is recognized so don't worry if I'm going too fast because I will leave all these commands in the video description so you can copy paste them here in the right order of course so now you type in adb shell confirm with enter and now it's um, it's um, time to to type in the command which we need to um, get this specific animation scale so we type in settings put global window and then this line here underline or I don't know what it's called then animation then again this line scale and then you will have to type in the amount of specific animation scale you want to have so my recommendation is the 1.05 uh, 1.75 I mean so um, this is in my opinion the best for the S7 Edge because there normally the animations are really slow it can um, be that on a Google Pixel for example the stock animation scale is much snappy and faster than on a Galaxy S7 Edge so uh, you can see what is the best um, animation scale for yourself so now we type in again settings put global but now instead of window we have to type in transition transition then again this line here animation again this line scale and then you type in again the value you want to have for your specific animation scale then again enter then you will see always this here and uh, don't worry hero LTE is just if you are using the S7 Edge because every Android device has another um, another secret code or secret name and that's the one hero to LTE for the S7 Edge so the last line is also starting with the settings put global but now instead of transition we have the word animator to type in then again this line here duration duration again this line and um, now again scale to type in and now the value you want to set and the last thing you want to do is to tap enter that's it so when you see here hero to LTE and you don't have to write in here something you can now go on your S7 Edge and you will notice that everything or every animation it's much faster than before 
So let's see how it looks um, on the S7 Edge. It's here to confirm that it really works. Here, let's, here you can see you have much faster animation. Also, when you open up the settings app, you go to some settings. All the animations are much faster now. So um, that's the perfect animation, um, animation performance. So that's really um, not too fast. You see um, some animations here, but they are much faster than the standard one. So um, you can try out yourself. As I said, 0 0.75 is the one I would recommend for here the S7 Edge because the stock um, animation scale is not that fast and really slow in, in some cases. So yeah, definitely check out yourself which animation scale you prefer. And I hope you found this video useful. If yes, leave a like. Also remember please to hit that subscribe button down below. I hope um, you will come back to Medi's Tech Circle and I say peace out, bye everyone.